Hi, I'm Dustin Weiniger. Back out yet again with the Uberti reproduction of the 1847 Colt Walker. Today I'll be testing its accuracy. Now you've seen this revolver in many of my other videos and I'm sure you'll see it in many more to come, but I've always fired it offhand, which means much of the gun's performance depends on my skill, or sometimes lack thereof, to be honest. But today I'm going to put it on a bench rest here at the Lee K Center and see how accurate the gun really is. I'll fire six shots from a distance of 50 feet, then six shots from 25 yards, and finally six shots from 75 yards. So let's get up there to the firing line and see how the old gun performs. In each chamber I'll be using 40 grains of 3FG Go-X black powder. For the lube, I'll be using Cabela's brand pre-lubricated felt wads. And for the projectile, a Hornady .454 diameter round ball. The caps are Remington number no. 10 percussion caps. Well, I have to say, I'm pretty happy with this result. For the most part, the group is extremely tight, with one exception that went a little high. From left to right, they're about perfectly centered, and just about three inches high as the center of the group, but you can always expect a walker to be a bit high. Well, why don't we move out now to 25 yards and see how it does. shots are still pretty well centered from left to right and they've just moved a little bit higher and expanded that group just a little bit but this is still pretty good and I'm happy with it. The real test will be shooting from 75 yards so let's move out there and give it a try. The 
factory print dye, so I think everybody has the only company that makes it. Nobody else makes a factory print dye. And the dye that comes all the way down, I think it's harder than any other dye. A lot of dyes don't fit. Right. And I, what you need for that 243 lever action is a small base dye. Right. That would solve your problem. Yeah, I bought an RCDS dye and solved my problem. Now here I had to take the picture with the target still on the target stand because you can see only one of them ended up in the target. The rest are up a little higher into the backing board. Now you can tell my bullets from the previous shooter's bullets because theirs were all 22 caliber or smaller while mine are 44. But even though they all went pretty high, this shot group is not too big for 75 yards. So overall, I'm pretty happy with the performance of this walker. Well, as always, I hope this video was helpful and maybe gave you an idea of what you can expect for accuracy if you purchase a Uberti reproduction of the walker. Please remember to click that like button below and subscribe to the channel so you can see more videos. And thank you so much for watching.